Alright, what up guys? It's Nick back in with another video. And today I'm gonna be doing Moon Knight. Um I know I, this is something like completely out the window. Like I never really thought I'd be doing Moon Knight because it's not my it's he wouldn't have been my first choice. <laughs> Let's just say that he wouldn't have been my first choice to make. But you know, I feel like he has a cool design and I feel like he can make a really good character on the shoe. And um, you know, I feel like I could use that as a you know, just make make something cool because this would be another shoe I'm taking to DreamCon. So I feel like this would be real cool to make and uh, go from there. And then let's see what we can do. Uh, I settled upon this image. I feel like this would be a good reference to use. I really like the you know the pose of him doing that. It's almost like a Black Pantherish pose. You know, and I feel like it's good to use the the, the, the moon sickles or whatever you call it. You know, I feel like that's that's real good to put in the uh, image. I just need to find another. I may use this one. I like this. You know, but I'm thinking about getting more of a headshot or something like that. Or I could do Mr. Moon Knight or something. Mr. Knight or whatever you call it himself. You know, something like that. I really want to do something more like this. But, you know, we'll see. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to making these. I really feel like this is gonna pop, and then the thing is, it shouldn't take that long because of most of the colors. But then again, you know, still might be a, still still might take a long time. You never know. So, I'm really excited to make these. So, let's get into it. All right, guys. Now I'm getting started on the piece. Uh, I found like with these references, I, I feel like these are the best ones that I can use. So, I really enjoyed making these. Like the it was a it was a little hard stenciling him in though because he was very he was like all those components him holding the the, the moon I guess what daggers or whatever I don't know what they call <laughs> you know him holding those were extremely hard to put in there so I had to just kind of take my time and, and you know go slow with it it took me a while to do it I, even though I only used really like three colors like two shades of gray and black you know so but it still took me it still took me a long time to do this because you know how much shading it really took in this but I wanted to do I wanted to make sure that I do this one right because you know Moon Knight has a very cool design and I felt like it was been it would have been good to just to do something that popped that's different because I like I see a lot of people doing the popular characters you know you do Naruto you do Sasuke you do you know all of that so I wanted to do something different and then I the TV show Moon Knight was cool uh, it turned into some Godzilla type stuff later on but you know it was cool. I uh, I, I would watch the second season if they came out with the second season. I would I would watch it. You know, but I don't I don't know if they're gonna do it because Marvel may kind of struggling. But um, but yeah, I wanted to do something different. Try some try to make some different characters that that may sell. You know, I don't know if this shoe this size this is a size like 14 too. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who gonna get this one. And so. Uh, you know, but I, it's always it's always somebody. Like every time I made like a size fourteen or something, I've always been able to get rid of it. But um, but um, like I think that that this shoe will be popular because I'm just another shoe that I'm taking to DreamCon. I said that probably the last three videos. But uh, <laughs> but like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run into somebody that wear like a fourteen or something like that that's gonna like it. I mean, they may not they may want some of the other stuff I made first, but you know you know stuff that you have in their size they, they tend to take it because people with, with larger feet tend to don't don't have things made for them so it's like when they see it they're like okay I'll take this it's the only 14 custom shoe that I've ever seen so let me go ahead and jump on it so I wanted to make sure that these shoes pop too so I used the gold I used the gold uh, metallic paint so that they could so that they could pop and then I wanted to make sure that I can uh, have it on display. I may make a backdrop for this one too. I don't know yet. Don't hold me to that. I might not. But I like, like I said, I like Moon Knight's design, so the concept of it may work for me. You know, um, I don't know how people will receive him, so that's the main reason why I might not do a backdrop. But if I do, oh well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. You'll see a video about that too. If I don't, then oh well. But I really like the way it turned out. Uh, this. You know what I'm saying? This this project was it took me a long time to do this. I can't believe how long it took me. You know, but um, some of the materials I use because that's what somebody asked me last time. They asked me about the materials I use. Uh, I just basically use Angelus paint and uh, I use cheap paint brush. I'm talking about the cheapest stuff you can find. Like I don't I don't see the purpose of uh, on like the utensils you use, but the paint needs to be good. You need to use uh, quality paint. I will say that. And then, you know, I acetone the, the shoe down first. You know, I use masking tape to tape off the areas I want. 
another thing too that people ask me about um, is how do you get the go the specs at the bottom? You see how I got the bottom of it taped off right there, and then all I do is I tape off the top part too, and so to where only that section is exposed, and then I'll, I'll just do like some little flicks, some little splatters, and then I dry that. I I'll wait till it dry. It, that normally takes a little while too, cause wet, like when it's clumped up like that, it takes longer to dry. But once it does dry, I just peel it off, and then that way all the paint is combined, confined to the midsole area. So. Like I've been doing that a lot with most of my shoes lately, and but you know it's been a it's been a thing that people that people have been liking, so that's why I try not to, you know I try to I try to keep doing it. Like every time somebody tell me they like that part of it, like I've never heard nobody tell me that no I don't like you doing it. So that's why I kept on doing it. So I like it's been beneficial for me to keep doing it. So um, you know that, and a lot of people ask me about uh, how you come up with your concepts. Like I do I do like a mock up in um, Procreate. I don't always do it like sometimes I do it off the top of the head I kind of know what I want to do and then because you, you know sometimes like because I'm not afraid to admit that sometimes like I'll see another person's work and then I'll I'll be like oh okay like he did that right there like I think that with these uh, bandages right here I looked at how another guy does uh, he did he made a rock Lee pair he made a rock Lee pair uh, his name is uh, uh, color me fresh that's his name uh, that's his name on uh, Instagram so he did like a rock leaf pearl with the bandages on the on the uh, toe part right there. So I was like, hmm, like I didn't want to I didn't want to make rock leaf, but I knew I was thinking about making Moon Knight. So I was like, I can use that same concept that he did on the toe box of of my shoe. You know what I'm saying? Like now, it's biting to a degree, but hey, like it's a completely different shoe. Nobody's gonna put it together. So you know, my it still looks good in itself anyway. So you know. You don't have, you don't own the right to <laughs> how to put it on the shoes. I'm pretty sure if I spoke to him, he wouldn't care. But, um, but yeah, um, just making these is cool, man. Like having, this just having fun doing stuff that you love, making shoes. If you, if you are an artist and you want to do, uh, you want to make shoes, uh, I would say just get started. It took me a while to, to get better at it. I feel like my artwork has gotten a lot better from the time I started to now. So I've been making a lot of progress on the shoes I've been making. So if there's anything that you guys want to see me do, you know you have any character requests because a lot of people come up with the craziest uh, like requests like they are named characters i've never heard of like like uh i've watched x-men but like they have names from x-men i've never heard of you know so i'm like okay maybe i was too young watching it because i do not remember that person <laughs> i don't remember that person at all so but um but you know just let me know what you what, who you would like to see me do if you want to contact me by getting the order it's best to hit me up on instagram that's the easiest way uh, if you want something I've already made as far as like canvases and stuff like that, uh, you can check out my website at nick901.com. Like I got all my, well most of my canvases on there. I still got to upload, upload some of them. But uh, you can get pretty much any of the canvases I've made. Um, you know, yeah, like if you got any suggestions on those too, just, just let me know. Like people love the shoe with a character concept. Like that's why I've been doing it so long and you know. I'm taking those to DreamCon as well too, so they'll be there. If you somebody that's looking for those, they'll be there for sure too. So, um, but yeah, like if you if you have anything that you would like to see me do, or you have any questions or anything like that, please just feel free to let me know and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Please help your boy out. I'm almost at well, I ain't gonna say almost. I'm on my way to 2,000. So, you know, help your boy out and let's let's get to it, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to grow this. I feel like I, I feel like my work quality is good and I feel like I can. Uh, I can cultivate a following over here. I just, you know, I need you guys' help. So uh, like, comment, subscribe. All the back.